welcome back to my channel in today's video we will continue with our protein ligand ducking tutorial using autoduck as you remember last time we prepared our protein and ligand file as pdbqt and now it's time to set our grid box so let's get started in first step um, as you can see we have our protein and ligand pdbqt file open in the application now uh, you must uh, show your software what is your ligand and what is your protein molecule so uh, first of all go to grid macromolecule and choose your uh, protein so grid macromolecule choose here as you can see it's my protein i choose it select molecule and uh, when you uh, click yes it will convert another pdbqt uh, file to your last pdbqt file so just click yes it's safe uh, it shows you some information that you have for example ions here then okay Okay, now you have uh, another PDBQT file and uh, the software now knows what is your molecule here. Then go to grid again and go to set map types and choose your ligand. My ligand here is PE ligand. Select ligand and now both of them are selected. In the next step, uh, in step 5 you must determine grid box and now uh, let's set the grid box to define the region of the protein where the ducking will take place so go to grid grid box file and then uh, close saving current let's do it grid grid box Okay, uh, here because I'm not um, researching on a specific region of the protein, I just uh, changed the direction of these elements to show how it's changing. Let's uh, maximize the software. Okay, as you can see, it's our uh, box, it's the dimension of our box. If you change, for example, x dimension, you can see that okay the x dimension is getting bigger and getting smart uh, smaller then for example one dimension and also z dimension spacing uh, angus strong you know uh, it's changed your box space for example you want to get it bigger or get it smaller so just set it uh, based on your research uh, here just is it's tutorial and we don't have any specific uh, goal to do it um, here is when you uh, know the di exact dimension of your uh, box before you can just change here you know okay for example if I do this it will change the place okay oh, I think it's it's good for example go to files and close saving current now uh, the dimension of your grid box is determined for the software in the next step you need to save all the uh, dimensions of your grid box in a gp file and a gp file is contains all the grid setting for you so grid output save GP file. For example, I, I save it in my desktop. Uh, for example, um, example one, um, and the format is GP file. Save it. Okay, we've done this step, and now you have GP uh, GPF file, and your grid setting now is determined. So uh, wait for next video to learn other steps of ducking. Uh, we don't have um, more steps to do uh, for this video. Okay, bye-bye.